Today I'm giving you my full review on Hermes H24 Herbs Bibes. Is this a nice fragrance? Yes. I do have a little gripe about it though. If you want to find out about this scent, stay tuned. <laughs> What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikey Cologne and I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. That is right, I'm going to give you my full review on this fragrance, Hermes H24 Herbs Vibes. But before I get going, if you do enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button, it's completely free. And always press the bell because it will notify you when I do a review at a later date. And I have a code for you lot to save a little bit of money on. If you're interested in any fragrances from the house of Uniquey Luxury, it's a niche brand, go over on their website, obviously put in what you want in your car, and when it goes to coupon code, put in Mikey-Kute23, and that will give you 15% off of your order. I earn no money out of this, no commission. I don't get paid to do it. The code is for you lot to save a little bit of money if you're interested in a house of Uniki Luxury. I will leave the link down below. Right, I'm going to get cracking. One of my gripes of this fragrance is the longevity could be a bit better, but then on the other hand, it is a fresh fragrance. But let me just show you the bottle. This is 100ml. And then I'll show you the cap. Decent atomizer, it gives out loads of juice, look. Now, you've got three notes listed, herbal notes, pear, and for cycle. And I believe for cycle is some type of molecule that kind of, it's like a cooling agent, so to speak. It adds this cool, fresh effect to the fragrance. And you do get that. But how does this open up? It opens up very bright, lively, green straight away, herbal. I do get a citrusy touch up top, plus you get the pear. Now, as this starts to settle in, to me that citrusy quality fizzles out quite quickly and the pear tends to amp up a little bit more. So you've got a nice little fruity touch to the fragrance. And to me, that sort of tames that green herbal quality that this fragrance has. But with this, you get this piercing metallic edge to it. And I don't know if that is that for cycle doing that, but at first, maybe some people might think it might be a little bit hard to deal with, but that does calm down. Once the fragrance starts to settle in after about four or five minutes, that sharp metallic edge does fade into the back, but on my skin, it always stays all the way through the fragrance. And there's not there's not a lot of chops and changes with this. Once that pear comes through a little bit more, that green side to the fragrance turns up a little bit. And basically, that is the fragrance in a nutshell. It does have musky edges, and that musk sort of shapes the fragrance a little bit. I do get a minty aroma with this. Once that opening calms down and it sort of heads into the mid, I do get a minty aroma from this fragrance. And in the base, it tends to sit a little bit creamy on my skin. Again, I don't know where that is coming from. I'm just letting you know what or how the fragrance is working on my skin. So it opens up fresh, lively, bright, clean, crisp, sharp, green, citrusy, fruity. As it starts to settle in, the citrusy top fizzles out, then the pear amps up along with the green aroma in this fragrance. I get minty touches, and then in the base, it sits a little bit creamy on my skin with musky edges. It's a simple fragrance, but it's very versatile. And to me, if you can get past that sharp piercing opening, it's mass appealing. 
I just think that you need to leave it a minute or two for it to calm down and then you're all you're all good. But I don't think anyone's gonna dislike the DNA of this fragrance. You can wear this to the office, you can wear it to the gym, you can wear it all year round. It's gonna be great for spring and summer. This will be fantastic on hot days through the summer. When it's scorching outside, it's a little bit hot, sticky and humid. This fragrance will do very well in them environments. Longevity, I'm getting five to six hours and that's it. On clothes, it does last a little bit more. But like I said at the beginning of the review, it is a freshie. And normally freshies don't tend to last as long. But the overall scent profile is nice. There's no doubt about it. It is definitely a masculine scent. Someone dropped a comment the other day down saying, is this masculine? Is it unisex? No, this is completely masculine to my nose. I also do pick up. On a little bit of a woodsy aroma as well. I don't know if that's coming from the herbal side of this fragrance, but there's something a little bit stemmy and woodsy in this fragrance, way in the back somewhere, or maybe it's just my nose, I don't know. But overall, I think it's a solid release. To me, it's not a wow fragrance, but it's very nice, easy to wear, dumb reach, mass appealing, you haven't got to overthink it. If you have this fragrance in your arsenal, in your collection, and you just want a fragrance that you can grab and go and you're going to smell good, this, to me, is one of them fragrances. Five to six hours on skin longevity, like I said. You can wear this in a white t-shirt. You can wear it out to drinks. You can wear it out around the house. You can, wear, you can wear it fresh out the shower. It's one of those types of scents. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I covered it all. That is... Hermes H24 Herbs Vibes. Drop a comment down below if you have tried this. Like I say, this is the only one that I've tried in that lineup, so I can't compare it to any of the other two. I can just let you know how this fragrance works on me, and I think I've explained it to the best that I can. It's not an overly complex scent. It's Once that opening calms down, it tends to sit quite linear, but again, it's a fresh air fragrance. You can't expect too much out of them, but it's nice, it's pleasant. Let me know if you have tried this. I appreciate everybody's support, and remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will see you lot on the next one. Cheers.